define our VTC section. Now, these are going to be the parameters of the programming section that we have to work with, and then we're going to be looking in the tables and doing a quick run through of how they work. So, we're going to see here under the parameters, the first thing we're going to have zero VTC upon D cell fuel cut. So, what happens with the variable cam function in one of these engines is when you lift your throttle, whatever you've commanded, let's jump into our variable cam table here. Whatever you command in the table here, this is a requested advance or rotation of the cam. So for example here, this is 30 degrees advance or rotation of the cam. Now if I lift my throttle and I lift off, I'm going to be coming back into my deceleration zone right here into these, these last couple columns. And we can see that it tapers out to zero, but it still has some value here of five or 10. Now the way it works stock is that it's going to zero it out automatically. Whatever we have in the table, we could command here, we could put 50 in the entire table here as a request. And even if we have that, it's when it meets the deceleration fuel cut. So when we lift throttle and it knows that we're off the throttle long enough that the decel cut turns on and it shuts off the injectors, it's going to zero out the cam angle regardless of whatever's here in the table. Now, what that will do is create some undue stress on the timing chain. Um, so if you're driving around and you're constantly on off the throttle and your variable cam is going from 30 to 0 to 30 to 0 and back and forth and back and forth, that's going to be making the timing tensioner work very hard. Especially on an aftermarket cam, you want to avoid that. It's going to definitely beat up this, the, the tensioner very quick and it can cause it to fail because of the rotation of the cam is going to change the uh, slack in the actual chain as it's rotating around.